Welcome back guys, this is Benito and this is tutorial number 7. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you the difference between vectors, matrices and arrays. So this is something very important that you need to understand before we move on any further. So before we go on to actually explaining the differences, I'd like to invite you to go onto my website by clicking on visit my website in my YouTube channel. And if you click on that, what I plan to do is um, I have introduced a downloads and summary page in the tutorials category and in here I'll be adding a summary and you'll be able to download the code from each tutorial. So every tutorial won't have a code because it's just going to be some basic examples but when we get to advanced tutorials where I write a bigger script for example I'll make it available to download. So tutorial 7 is about vectors, matrices and arrays and you can click on this link here for MATLAB fundamentals and here for app designer downloads which will be coming soon. So we'll go on to tutorial 7, click on that link and we'll get into it. So in this tutorial I'll be talking about difference between vectors, matrices and arrays and all these things and uh, on this page you can see a summary of all the things I'll be talking about. So let's start by talking about the differences of vectors, matrices and arrays. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a one by one matrix which is considered to be a single value or it's called a scalar in MATLAB. So this is simply when you type in m equals one if it's a single value then it's considered as a scalar and it's another form of matrix it's a one by one matrix but we call it a scalar in MATLAB or MATLAB calls it a scalar. Okay, and the next uh, type we have is a vector. A vector in the previous tutorial I said can be a 1 by m um, row matrix or a m by 1 column matrix. So if it's a row of numbers or columns, uh, MATLAB considers uh, it as a vector and you should call it a vector. Now a matrix is a numeric 2D array, so if you have more than one column or row then you can consider it consider it as a matrix, 2D matrix. And it's 2D because you just have a two-dimensional matrix. If you imagine writing a two by two matrix on a piece of paper and get another piece of paper and write a two by two matrix and put it behind it, then in three dimensions, you can access the uh, numbers on the different piece, pieces of papers. Okay, so that's that can be considered as a 3D matrix. And MATLAB does allow you to uh, you know, create 3D matrices and even high dimension matrices in MATLAB and we'll talk about this in a later tutorial. And at the top we have arrays. So all of these are considered as arrays but just different categories of arrays. So this makes it, so categorizing these different types makes it easier for us to um, talk about and makes it easier for us to tell MATLAB uh, what we're trying to do and you know debug errors. So anything that uh, doesn't fa fall into this category falls into just the general array category. So if we just switch over to MATLAB, I'll I'll show you a simple example of each one. So m equals one, that's a single value. M equals one one one. This is a row vector. M equals rand uh, two by two. This is a matrix and M equals curly brackets to, um, let's say, B5. This is a cell array. So you can see if it's not a numeric data type, then uh, it doesn't fall into any of these categories. It falls into a general array category. And there's different types of arrays that we can talk about in later tutorials. But for now, um, I'll just switch back to vectors and show you some vector operations as well. So if we say m equals a row of 1s, and let's say I want to add 1 to each of these elements. So you can simply type a, for example, h equals m plus 1, and you can see the 1 is added to each element in the m row vector. And the same applies for multiplication and division and subtraction. So if I want to do m divided by 2, then you get 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Similarly, um, 
you can see you can also apply a function, a built-in function in MATLAB to numbers. So to find in, to find functions, you can click on this little arrow here, and this will show you a list of um, a large library of functions that you can find. So you've got elementary math, arithmetic, and these are all functions that you can use. Okay, so let's try and um, find a function just to use. So this says um, fix function uses rounds round towards zero. The MATLAB function rounds each element of x to to the nearest integer toward zero. Okay, so let's use the fix function then. Okay, so we'll just define a row vector and we'll make sure it's um, just decimals. So we'll say 1.5, um, 105, 1005. And let's apply the fix. So we'll say h, h equals fix r. So let's see what happens. So you can see this 1.5 is rounded to 1, this 105 is rounded to 105, and this 1005 is 1005. So what this is doing is if you have a decimal point, then it's rounding it down. So let's try that again and make this 0.6, make this 0.9, and we'll do fix and R. So you can see it's always rounding down because what we read about fix, if you type in help fix, is it rounds the element of x to the nearest in integer towards zero. So it's always rounding down. Okay. So you can see again in MATLAB, uh, the function is applied to in each element in a row or column vector. Okay. So that's just um, some more information on how to use vectors. And in the next tutorial, I'll be talking about how to index into vectors and change values inside the vectors in different locations. And this will be very useful when you come to deal with a large set of data, for example. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. And I invite you to visit my website and read the summary and give me some feedback on what to do next and how to improve. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.